Life Threat to Uyghur People Hello everyone, my name is Tahir Imin. I'm speaking from Washington, D.C. Coronavirus, famine, and Chinese hatred are the most biggest threat to Uyghur people inside and outside of Chinese concentration camps in Uyghuristan, the so-called Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. Since Wuhan coronavirus outbreak, Chinese state media have reported more than 80 cases infected with the virus. But we cannot trust Chinese official numbers. The numbers can be more. Because Chinese government has lost its credibility on many issues related to Uyghurs on the past few years. Before the Wuhan virus outbreak, we didn't know how many Uyghur people have died in those Chinese concentration camps. I don't know, we don't know how many Uyghur people have been infected with the virus in the region. Many virus-infected Han Chinese people are intentionally spreading the virus through spitting and touching others. We know that Han Chinese nationalists hate Uyghurs. So what would happen if those infected Han Chinese spreading the virus through spitting and touching to the Uyghur people? Medical supplies and international assistance are not coming to the hands of ordinary diseased people. The medical supplies and the foods are being controlled by Chinese military. Chinese Communist Party officials are using them first and save them a long-term use. At this moment I am speaking, many Uyghurs are suffering from starvation. If Uyghur people outside of the camps face starvation, what would happen to 3 million Uyghurs who are being detained in those concentration camps? According to reliable sources from the region, many camps are left without any food or medical treatment for weeks. The Chinese government has shown its support to Han Chinese nationals during the previous conflicts between the Han Chinese nationals and the Uyghurs. We are deeply suspicious that Chinese government would prefer to save Han Chinese rather than Uyghur people in the face of emergencies like coronavirus and famine. Chinese government has been trying all measures to eliminate Uyghurs by detaining the elites, intellectuals, rich people, business leaders, and religious leaders. No one could guarantee that Chinese government would not use this coronavirus outbreak and the famine as an opportunity to carry out a mass medical genocide against Uyghur people who are detained in those concentration camps, especially those Chinese government label as public enemy. Uyghurs in the camps are the most vulnerable people to the coronavirus in entire China. Three mainland Chinese provinces have reported many prisoners infected with coronavirus. The witnesses who survived from Chinese concentration camps testified that the conditions in those camps are much worse than people knew. They can't get medical treatment and are regularly tortured and deprived of sleep. Many are reportedly died of physical weakness and illness. All of this might cause an imminent threat to all of the Uyghurs who are detained in those concentration camps or the Uyghurs who are living in open society, which has been transformed into open prison for the past three years. All threats to Uyghur people are real and urgent. So I ask international community, United Nations, World Health Organization, and Red Cross, and other international bodies to take an immediate actions to send a delegation to Uyghur region, to have a thorough investigation and a report from the ground zero. I demand all of you to open a channel to send medical support and food supplies to our people. We demand and ask international community to put more pressure on Chinese government to release all of the people from the camps and the prisons to reunite with their family members and protect themselves from the virus and starvation. I hope everyone who get this message to spread it to more people to raise the awareness about the seriousness of the situation and take actions. Thank you very much.